So in this case, we are going to quickly uh, look into the given questions that uh, we have got uh, question number two, which was to calculate the missing angle in each of the following triangles. So in each of the triangles that you're given, you must calculate the missing uh, angles uh, or the missing angle, give reasons, all right, for each and every answer that you're going to give. So these are the uh, basic questions, guys, that you might be given in your revision. So we're just going to quickly uh, go through uh, the questions that we are given. That is on A, we have got uh, a triangle with two angles. There are different angles, and there is angle A, which is the unknown angle that we are given there. So in a mathematical statement, we do understand that the interior angles, the sum of these interior angles must be 180 degrees. So if we have two angles and we do not know the third angle, we can simply subtract that from what? 180 degrees. The two angles, we can subtract them, I mean, from 180 degrees. So A will be equal to 180 degrees minus the two angles that you are given. We want to find the third angle. So from 180, their sum when they are three. We remove the two angles, which is what? The 30 degrees and the 60 degrees together. So we must remove these two to find the third angle. So that is, we are referring to what? Angles in a triangle. Remember, we mentioned before that angles in a triangle, they do add up to uh, 180 degrees. So you can uh, use your calculator. That is uh, going to be 180 minus uh, 90 degrees, which is uh, going to give us what? 90 degrees. Okay, so that's a right angle triangle, this one, because we have got, a 90 degree angle that way. okay but the question is not about the type of the triangle no it is calculate the missing angle all right let's move on to b we have also the same thing just like the previous case two angles are given we want to find the third angle so that's the angle which is uh, b in this case uh, is going to be given as 180 degrees minus what the two given angle, uh, 60 degrees plus what? Uh, 50 degrees. All right. So you um, can even use your calculator straightforward, guys. Simplify uh, everything. That's 180 minus the sum of these two, 60 plus 50. Like this. So that was going to give us what? Uh, 70 degrees. So angle B is what? 70 degrees. So the reason, still the same here, the reason angles in a triangle same reason we wrote there all right on c we can see that there is or there are two angles there actually angle a angle b to be calculated all right so meaning to say as we consider uh, that part of c let's consider first angle b we are referring a straight line. Remember what I said uh, before? Yes, we can. There were so many ways, guys. We can start by calculating A because we do know that the angle of 100 degrees, this one, must be equal to the sum of the two opposite interior angle, angle A and uh, angle of 20 degrees. So there were two ways, all right? Let me start with this one. Uh, start by calculating B angles on a straight line so angle b must be equal to 180 degrees minus what 100 degrees angles on a straight line remember i mentioned here about the interior and exterior angle angle c1 plus angle c2 must give us what 180 degrees angles on a straight line so you could have used that angles on a straight line so that's our angle B was going to be what? 180 minus this. That's uh, 80 degrees. 
So if this is 80 degrees, to determine angle A, we can simply work with angles inside of a triangle because we've got two angles already. So that's 180 degrees minus what? The sum of the two angles that we can see inside of the triangle, angle 80 and 20 degrees. Angles in a triangle. So this was going to give us angle A. All right, if you add this was going to be 100, uh, then 180 minus uh, 100, which is what? Which is 80 degrees. So we're going to have the angle at A as 80 degrees, which makes this triangle to be an isosceles. As you can see, two angles, these ones, they are equal. Guys, there are so many ways of answering these questions, so many ways. So many ways. We could have answered the same question from what? The exterior angle, which is 100 degrees. Remember its relationship. It is the exterior angle. B is the interior angle. But I said the exterior angle must be equal to what? The sum of the opposite interior angles. The interior angle, yes, it is B, but the opposite now, which is what? A and 20 degrees. So if I take A, I add that one to 20 degrees, all right? So A plus 20 degrees is equal to what? The exterior angle of uh, 100 degrees, or you can start with 100 degrees is equal to this. It is up to you. We are referring to uh, the exterior angle of a triangle. So thus you can calculate angle A. Take the 20 degrees to the other side. The moment it crosses the equal sign, it changes the sign. So that's a negative there. So 100 minus 20, that was going to give us uh, 80 degrees. As we can see, same answer that we obtained before. So A is 80 degrees to find angle B. We can use the concept of angles on a straight line. We can use angles inside a triangle. They add up to what? 180 degrees. So we can subtract the two angles inside of the triangle, which is the 80 degrees and the 20 degrees. We are going to have 80 degrees. Still obtaining the same answer as before. There are so many ways. As long there is a property used from the shape that you are given, it means your solutions will be in the right direction. You might answer these questions. You might be answering these questions differently. But you must obtain same answers. Same answers. You might have a different view on that question, but the answers must be the same. Okay? On D, we are given, that's an isosceles triangle. As you can see, these two lines, this line and this line, indicating that those sides are equal. Remember, from our isosceles triangle, we said, from those sides that are equal, the opposite angles will be equal. So automatically, angle A is equal to what? To 50 degrees. All right. These are angles opposite equal sides. From the properties of what? An isosceles triangle. So if we do know that the angle at A is 50 degrees, thus angle B can be calculated or can be determined as we do understand angles in a triangle they add up to 180 degrees. So we are going to subtract the two angles, the 50 and the 50. So that's 50 plus 50 degrees. So that's our angle B uh, was going to be calculated 50 plus 50, that's 100. And 180 minus 100 was going to give us what? Uh, 80 degrees. 
all right so that's the angle at b is 80 degrees if you add everything you must get 180 degrees so that's the idea there all right let's look into uh question e if we are to consider here the uh two angles so guys it's just direct this one uh so a is gonna be simply 180 degrees minus what the two angles of 110 and 40 degrees this was a straightforward question uh angles in a triangle so that was going to give us 180 degrees minus if we add uh, 110 and 40 that's uh, 150 so that was uh, 180 minus 150 which is what which is 30 degrees so that's gonna be uh, 30 degrees so if we add all these angles we must get 180 degrees just like that all right let's move on to f on f and i source less all right so that's an equilateral all of these ones they're equal guys as you can see this one this one and this one so that's an equilateral triangle this one remember each interior angle of an equilateral triangle will be equal a will be equal to b will be equal to c equal to what 60 degrees guys from the properties of an equilateral triangle each angle is 60 degrees all right so i talk about each interior angle of an equilateral triangle right so that's the interior angles of what an uh, equilateral triangle each is 60 degrees all right on g we are given an uh, extended side all right where we have got uh, an exterior angle just like the question we saw here on uh, on c there was an exterior angle the same concept with this one so you can answer this question the same way you answered uh, question C. The way that you want, because I explained that there are so many ways that you can answer uh, this type of a question, guys, all right? So that's uh, on G. I can determine angle A because I have the interior and exterior, and I do understand that this interior plus that exterior angle must give us 180 degrees, angles on a straight line. So simply A is equal to what? 180 degrees minus 120 degrees. Angles on a straight line. All right. So that was going to give us uh, 60 degrees. So we are referring to angles on a straight line. With these 60 degrees, angle B can be calculated. We now have a triangle interior angles of a triangle add up to 180 degrees so you can subtract the 80 degrees and the 60 degrees that we calculated angles in a triangle just like that so meaning to say we're going to obtain uh, the angle of b so adding these two that was going to give us uh, 140 then 180 minus 140 which is what uh, 40 degrees so meaning to say the angle which is at B is going to give us uh, 40 degrees. Like I said, guys, so many ways that we could have answered this question. The relationship between the exterior angle to the opposite interior angles tells us that we can find B. Because if I add B and 80 degrees, I must obtain 120. The exterior angle of a triangle. So thus we can find B. Take this to the other side, 180 minus what? Uh, 120 minus uh, 80. That was going to be 40 degrees. So we have a 40 degrees there. To find angle A, yes, you can use concept of a straight line or you can use what? Angles in a triangle. 
when it is like this because we are given what we have got two angles so to find a you simply gonna subtract from what 180 degrees the 80 and the 40 degrees that you calculated it is in your hands guys you are still going to have the same answer of 60 degrees okay uh on h all right on h we have got um and I sourceless triangle this time, two sides given that they are equal. And one angle is given of uh, 20 degrees. Remember what I said, guys, about uh, this chap. Sides that we are given, they are going to give us a special property on the angles. The angle A here, the angle at B must be equal. Angle A is equal to angle B. Angles opposite what? Equal sides. So if they are equal and these angles, they add up to 180 degrees. Therefore, let's remove this one from what? From 180 degrees. We remove 20 degrees. But since these two angles, they are equal, we must divide this answer by 2 because 180 minus 20 degrees, which is the 160 degrees. It is the sum of the two remaining angles, this one. It is for the two remaining angles, angle A and what? Angle B. So if I add angle A plus angle B, I must obtain 160, but they are equal, these two. So if they are equal, it means A is equal to B, so I can write a as B, 2A is equal to 160 degrees, then divide by 2, divide by 2, so A is what? 80 degrees. If A is 60 degrees, it means also B is... Guys, you see the concept. If you understand this, you do not have to work out this way because you know that the 180 minus 20 is for what? The two remaining angles. So if it represents this one if it represents the two remaining uh, angles so let us just simply divide by what by two to get each each now all right so that was going to be 180 minus 20 which is what uh, 160 so that's 160 over 2 which is what uh, 80 degrees so each of these angles is going to be 80 degrees we've got an 80 degree at b 80 degree at what at uh, at uh, at a so this concept is uh the moment we said a is equal to b it is because of what angles opposite equal sides all right equal sides that is where we are getting the concept from an isosceles triangle so that's we have an angle of A and we also have angle of B as what is 80 degrees each. So those are the typical questions that you might be given. All you just need is to work out as many questions as you can as you are revising for the exams which are ahead of time.